Okay, in this lesson, we're going to practice on some lens question. Okay, this question asks which ray behave correctly when passed through a converging lens. So we have to know, understand what, uh, what are the light rays that pass through a converging lens and how they will behave. Okay, you find that some MCQ we can go by illumination. Okay, we look at part B. Okay, you find that B is not the answer. It's because it, as it the light ray passes through F focal length, but it must be parallel to the, the principal axis. So B is not the correct light ray. Okay, you find that A also share the same characteristic because it comes from a focal point. So as it passes through the lens, it must be a parallel to the principal axis. Again, A will also not be correct. Then you look at D. Okay, D is parallel to the uh, principal axis, but since it's parallel to principal axis, before it passes through the lens, it should come from F. But since it didn't come from F, then therefore D is also not the correct answer. So in this case, C is the correct answer. Okay, you find that, um, so this question asks you about light wave from ray box passes through three different lenses at position 1, 2, and 3, and what type of lenses are used in the position. Okay, there's the choice of converging and diverging. Okay, first of all, you have to realize converging is something like this, and diverging is something like this. So, in short, what it happens is that uh, if the light ray, uh, how do you judge whether is it converging or uh, diverging? Is that your light ray continue like this unhindered, but since it bends closer to a center light ray, this is a converging. Okay, same thing over here, the light ray over here, if it's passed unhindered, it should go straight. But again, it comes closer to the uh, come closer to the center light ray. This is considered also converging. Okay, what about this? Okay, you find that actually if you continue if the light ray continue on like this, okay, uh, after passing through the lens, it should uh, but instead it actually goes away from the uh, center line. Okay, that means that it is diverging. Okay, so in this case, B is the correct answer. Converging, converging, diverging. Okay, which diagram shows uh, rays of light passing through a converging lens in the camera? Okay, we have to remember how a camera image look like under... Yeah. So a camera would have this characteristic real, inverted, and diminished, meaning smaller. So you have big object becomes smaller. So if we look back, you find that only C fits this category because it is smaller and it is inverted. Okay, this one is, is bigger, is inverted, so this is not correct. This is same size, also not correct, and it's upright. Okay, and this is smaller, but it is upright. So again, this is not correct. So C is the answer. Okay, so this particular question says that a student wants to make a copy of a picture with a height of 2 cm. So you use a photocopy machine and print the image and so on. So uh, take note that this is a scale diagram. Okay, it is to scale. So essentially, you have to draw something on it. Okay, the answer to this is actually a copy of the image. So that means that if the height is zero, a copy means that the image also is zero. Okay, so right now the question said all the characteristics form on the paper. So we find that it is same size, okay, and uh, it is real and it is inverted, okay, because this one is under situation where the object is at uh, 2f, okay. So then the next question is, uh, you need to complete the light wave diagram in figure 5.1 okay, and determine the focal length of the lens. So this is the uh, original image, so you want to you want to construct the light wave. First of all, just construct a light wave that is passing through the center of the lens and it will just go straight. And we know that the image will be 2 cm, so you just only need to find, okay, starting from here, a 2 cm line that will fit. Okay, so which means that it's something like this. So it's two centimeter, and subsequently, what it means is that you just will need to complete the other light rays, which is parallel to the principal axis, which will pass through the focal point and which will touch the image. And what it means is that 
this particular point would be your focal point. And what you simply need to do is to find the length of this one, which is roughly about 2.3 cm. Okay, and the other question asking you to find out the image, okay, so which is over here, which is actually roughly about 4.6 cm. Okay, so that's it. Please subscribe and support my channel. For my other physics video lesson arranged according to topics, please visit my blog at boringphysicsteachers.wordpress.com. You can subscribe to my channel to be informed when I upload new physics video lessons. Thank you.